The guitar reminds me of my first love. It's my favorite musical instrument. And uh, talking about my first love, I am wondering when I last played on the guitar. It's been a while. And thinking about first love, uh, I don't know how faithful I've been to the first love. Anyway, that's a by the way. Hi there, friends. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving deep into a topic that affects many marriages and relationships. Infidelity is what we're talking about. As Christians, we believe that marriage is a sacred covenant instituted by God himself. Yet, throughout history, marriages have faced challenges, including the painful issue of infidelity. To navigate this sensitive subject, let's turn to the Word of God. The Bible, to provide us guidance. The Bible provides wisdom and encouragement to help us steer clear of the trap of marital infidelity. Let's explore some key principles together. One of the most powerful examples we find in the Bible is the story of Joseph and Potiphar's wife. Joseph, a young man of integrity, resisted temptation when Potiphar's wife tried to seduce him. He responded by saying, How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? That's in Genesis chapter 39 and verse 9. Just like Joseph, we must remember that our fidelity ultimately is to God. Our commitment to our spouse is part of our devotion to Him. When faced with temptation, let's honor God and our marriage by remaining faithful. I came across a very powerful quote by Christian author Elizabeth Elliot. She said, the fidelity of a fellow traveler on this road can encourage us to resist temptation. Basically what this means is that the company you keep around you can influence whether you stay faithful or not. Surrounding ourselves with a strong Christian community that upholds the values of faithfulness is crucial in, in guarding against infidelity. The church I attend has a marriage fellowship called Home Builders. Couples meet on a weekly basis to share insights on how to uphold godly values in their marriages. They also share experiences on how they have been able to navigate through the challenges they encounter in their marriages. Most importantly, couples pray together and create a community of fellow travelers who encourage each other. It is important to nurture your marriage intentionally. Remember, love is not just a feeling. It's a choice you make every day. Investing time, effort, and emotional energy into your relationship builds a strong foundation that guards against the allure of infidelity. Author Gary Thomas once wrote, Every marriage is a safe house against the storms of life, an oasis of friendship and intimacy in the hostile world. Building a safe and loving environment within our marriage makes it less susceptible to the storms of temptation that may come our way. Let me put this aside. Now, if you know someone who is dealing with the aftermath of infidelity, remember that healing is possible. Seek guidance from a trusted Christian counselor or pastor who can provide biblical wisdom and support during this challenging time. As we conclude today's video, let's remember that marital infidelity is a painful reality. But with God's grace, we can overcome it. Let's remain faithful to our spouse, honoring our commitment and seeking to build a lasting and loving marriage. Thank you for joining me today. 
If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Remember, God's love and faithfulness are our guiding lights. Stay blessed and until next time, take care.